Hello everyone, in this video we will see how we can install a Laravel application on AA panel. So for that we have a we have Worksuit CRM which is built in Laravel application. So we will try to install this on the AA panel. So let's jump to the AA panel. This is the website which I already added. For that we'll go to files and go to select the domain and here let me delete all these. These are of no use. Let's delete it and let's upload the down downloaded files here it is and click on upload so the file is now uploaded let me unzip it so the files are now unzipped let me open the folder in the folder we have two folder subfolder that is documentation and script in the script we have the laravel files so for that we'll what we'll do we'll select all these files and move to the root directory let me cut click on cut and go to the root directory which is this one and paste here so all the files are now pasted let me open the url here is the url and let me open with the public and see if we are getting anything so we are getting the nginx error so let's click open check.php file here so currently it's not reflecting anything let's go back and see why it's, we are not getting anything we'll go to the website and here in the configuration subdirectory we can select select the site directory and in the site directory we will be pointing this to the public directory and click on save and let's reload again and see if we are still get getting anything or not Oops. Uh, actually we are trying on the wrong path it will be the domain which is this one and let me reload it so as we can see on the safari we are able to access it and with some errors and let's res resolve these errors and for resolving that these errors these are php errors we'll go to the aa panel go to app store and from app store click on installed and here we'll go to the php settings click on settings and then install extensions and one is file info which is necessary we'll click on this and the other stuffs that we need are mb string and proc open and for that mb string let's see if we are if this is yeah, disabled function from here we'll proc open here it is we'll delete this proc open Lift it. Let's reload it. So this is now good, and only MB3 is MB3 is left. So let's go to MB3. Let's go to install. Yeah, here it is. Let's click on install, and it's added to the queue, and it will be installed soon. And then let's go to the browser and open the application without check.php so it's redirecting to <laughs> login page but it's not working because an nginx for the laravel application we need to configure something so let, for that let's go to the configuration and here we'll use the url rewrite and from here we'll go to select for laravel if there is any yeah here it is laravel we'll select this and it's good let's save it and let's go back to the safari browser and reload it so we are getting the installer of the of our worksuit application so using the installer we can install our application this is one of the approach is used in the worksuit crm but if you are using the laravel application we we can install directly via terminal for that we'll go to the terminal here is the terminal and let's go to the file path for that we'll go to where www root no it's not the path let's see what was the correct path so it's backslash www root let's go back cd www and www root and in the that we have worksuit xyz and here we will open the env file vim.env 
और लेट्स ओपन दिस एन वी फाइल डायरेक्टली वाया फाइल मैनेजर और दैट विल गो टू वर्क शूट एक्स वाई जेड एंड ओपन डॉट एन वी फाइल एंड हेयर वी विल एंटर द डेटा बेस कॉन्फिग्रेशन लेट्स क्रिएट वन डेटा बेस फॉर दिस एप डेटा बेस लेट मी नेम इट वर्क शूट यूजर नेम इज ऑल्सो वर्क शूट एंड पेस्ट वर्क शूट वर्क शूट and the password is this the url is worksu.xyz xyz https and save it so it's saved and let me click confirm and now let's jump back to the terminal so this is the terminal we'll go back to the www www root and here worksuit.xyz and here we will simply run php artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed for migrating and seeding the data for the first time and click enter so it's now creating the database tables and entering the data required for the app running the application so we'll wait for some time so all the migrations are now completed let's go back to the safari and see the application let's reload it so as we can see we are able to open the worksuit application so the installation of worksuit is completed we can use two methods one is via terminal and another by using the installer of worksuit itself so laravel application is installed in this fashion if you still have any query please write down and a team will respond to that